It doesn't matter if you're just starting out or are already a Web Stories veteran, templates are a great way to quickly dive into creating a story. So let's take a look at how to work with templates inside Web Stories for WordPress. In the current version, there are eight different template themes available. They cover categories like fashion, cooking, entertainment, or DIY. And each template includes eight to 10 individually designed pages for different content functions. For example, if you want to add a fancy quote, there are designs for that. Or if you want to show ingredients of your recipe, then there are designs for that as well. Take a look around and I'm sure you'll find a fitting design for your story too. But how can you access these precious templates? Let me show you. When you're inside your WordPress dashboard and select the Stories icon, you'll find the menu Explore Templates. And here you'll find an overview over all available templates. Now, this is specifically helpful if you want to get a feeling for the different template options that are available. And when you hover over one of the templates, you can see this button that says See Details. And when you click on it, you can check out the different pages that the template has available and also see what kind of color scheme it has in store. Now, when you go back and click on Use Template, then the template will open up inside the editor. So let's do that. Now, when all these pages have loaded up inside the editor, you can adjust them to your liking. But what if I'm already inside the editor and want to add a template page? No problem. Inside the editor, you also have quick access to all individual template pages. You just go to the element panel on the left side and you find the template button. You'll see that all pages are available here on the left side. And not only that, you can sort through the different functions of each site by selecting quote, for example, if you're looking for a quote, or if you're looking for a list, you can click on list and the menu will show you all lists that are available. And if you want to import one of these pages to your story, you just have to click on it once and it will be added to your story. Now, I just imported a naked template page. You can also import these template pages with the example images. And in order to do that, you have to make sure that the show images button up here is activated. And if you import a page now, then the example images will be shown in the story. In any case, you will likely want to add your own images into these template pages. And that's super simple. You can just go to the image tab, for example, grab one of the images and drag and drop them into the placeholder and they will be placed accordingly. You can then double click into the image and do some further adjustments, zoom in, for example, or adjust the placing a little bit. That's totally up to you. And of course, you cannot only change the images, you can also adjust the text to your liking. And in order to do that, you just have to click on the text, double click, and then write whatever your heart desires. And by the way, all the animations that you see in these templates are available in the animation panel here on the right side and can also be further adjusted. Now, one thing that I find really handy is the option to save your own page as a template. If you watched the last episode about using shapes, you remember that we built this team profile page together. And if I want to integrate that now into a, a different story, then I can just simply go to the page I want to save as a template and go to the template menu and then on the very top click save current page as template. And what this does is it will add this page to a list of saved templates. And now if I want to edit, you have to make sure that you are in not in the default templates menu, but in the save templates menu. 
and then it works in the same way that it does with the default templates. You can just click here and it will be added to your page. And especially if you have designed your own look for a particular story, it really improves your workflow when you save these pages as a template. As always, I hope you found this helpful and also keep an eye out because more templates are going to come to the editor very, very soon.